So it's lovely to be down here in the south of Spain on a crispy January morning. We've been very lucky with the weather. We've got beautiful flat seas and, uh, and a clear sky. We're out on a V62S from 2013 uh, that has been down here now for perhaps three or four years. So we couldn't have got a better day and we're gonna put the boat through a little bit of a test. We'll run her up and see if we can squeeze the 37 knots out of her that she's supposed to achieve um, and give you a little bit of a run around the boat so that you can get a feel for what she's all about. This particular boat, as I mentioned, is 2013, and, uh, and she was originally delivered to a UK owner where she was kept for the early part of her life. Um, and uh, she uh, underwent some significant upgrades in 2015-16, having a stabilizer fitted, gyroscopic stabilizer and a water maker. So the stabilizer isn't really going to give us a great deal of help today we don't really need it but uh, but we'll test it nonetheless see if we can demonstrate it to you so she's a very well equipped boat and indeed has very low hours uh, she's she's running at the moment at uh, somewhere in the region of 470 hours on her engines so extremely low but just moving around the boat you can tell that she's been maintained very well um, it's, uh, it's an upgrade on the V62 um, with just a few little tweaks to the window lines and some of the mouldings through the boat just giving it a little bit of an edge over the V62. But, uh, you know, it's, it's super supple. It's got this fantastic main deck arrangement here, uh, which gives nice, comfortable seating for six, six people. Over here, you've got the cabinetry with the rise and fall television. So she is a three cabin boat, sleeping six, very, very comfortably. And of course, then the whole lot opens up, as you can see here, to make for a fantastic social space. Great big cockpit lovely to move around and actually one of the best performers from the Princess fleet. So we'll give it a little bit of throttle. It's a lovely driving position. You know, everything's just within reach. You know, the plotters are here, it's just an easy reach. Your throttles are beautifully positioned. Great visibility throughout the boat. You've got opening windows on both sides. So if you do have the roof closed, you've got plenty of communication with your crew out on deck. So 2,200 revs, sitting at 32 knots, very comfortable. Flap her out a little bit. Fantastic. Oh, it feels good, this boat, doesn't it? <laughs> Flip it.
So we've got a fabulous social space in the V62S, including a huge big sun pad to the aft end, which brings us, of course, into this U-shaped seating. On the sun pad underneath, you've got a garage, which will house a Williams 325. And over to the starboard side, you've got a drop hatch, which it leads into a crew quarters, which really on this boat, as an owner operator boat, is generally used as storage. But it's a lovely space to have. And then coming into the cockpit, of course, you've got all of the usual features that you would expect to see on a princess. Uh, you've got the, uh, the little uh, cooking area, sink, You've got a, a nice big drop fridge down here and a little bit of storage space underneath for your usual bits and pieces, your drinks, etc. You've got some dedicated locker spaces here for a life raft. So it's all very functional. So the whole boat again being very supple. You can have it closed down for winter and still enjoy all of the usable spaces both on deck and inside or you can open it all up and genuinely feel like you're on an open boat in the summertime. So this particular boat is finished in the walnut satin wood choice and it's got a few little touches of course of some different woods but it is walnut almost throughout the boat. Um, she's very well specified in terms of her comforts in here. She's air conditioned. She's also, that's supplemented by heating, having been in the UK for the early years of her life. Uh, she's fitted with Bose surround sound systems. She's really got everything on there that, that you would like to see. She's got a lovely little television popping up out of here, of course. The social space is arranged around of course having six people on board and it really is a very very comfortable place to sit you've got wonderful visibility aft great eye line out onto the water so you're not forgetting what your surroundings are all about So the clever use of space continues into the lower accommodation. So let's go and have a look. So the galley really is a nice little home from home kitchen. Um, it's got all of the features that you would hope to see, uh, including a four burner hob. You've got a, a combination microwave oven dishwasher, loads of storage all throughout the galley. There's storage everywhere. And of course, then you've got this lovely full height fridge and freezer. Um, so for those extended periods of time on board, you've got plenty of scope and you don't need to be running to the shops every five minutes. And then in terms of further facilities, you've got the washer dryer just nicely tucked in down below here. We'll move into the aft cabin, the master cabin. I mean, what a fabulous space this is. Um, it's full beam, of course. You've got a fantastic size double bed. Uh, beautiful windows which are just so close to the waterline it really makes you feel like you're in a special space storage of course is always the big question again so you've got ample hanging space in a great big hanging wardrobe here and of course down on the on the port side here you've got a dresser with loads of drawers you've got drawers over this side drawers under the bed it really is full of storage and one of the key aspects of this particular space is that there's no steps. It's all very, very flat. And achieving that in a hull of this size has never been easy. Um, but it is lovely to move around. Really, really nice. The ensuite is very generous. Access through a sliding door here. 
Uh, it's uh, got a, a, a nice size shower cubicle, loads of head height. I'm just about six feet, so you can get a feel for what sort of head height we've got throughout the boat. So obviously the master cabin has its own ensuite. With the two guest cabins, we've got a, a shared bathroom here, which acts as a, a day head and is directly linked to the VIP cabin forward. But also with the twin berth on the, on the starboard side, they, they have the option to use it. The bed in the forward cabin is a really generous double with very, very easy access on both sides so that you're not climbing out the end of the bed. It really does use the, the full width of the bow of the boat very nicely. And it again incorporates lots of storage, very nice head height. It's a lovely space. So this little dinette area directly adjacent to the galley is actually a really handy space to have. Not only does it serve as an additional bit of surface space if somebody is busy in the galley preparing dinner for the six guests on board, but also if you want to separate out the guests in the evening time, it's got its own television, it's got its own sound system in this area, and it's really a very, very comfortable place to sit and a very, very useful space with lots of storage again up over my head here. So in summary, we've got a really beautiful 2013 V62S here, which really is a fine example. Her low hours, of course, uh, are, are, are demonstrated throughout the boat by the lack of wear and tear. She, her engines are very smooth. Those Caterpillar uh, 1150s running the boat up very comfortably with a cruising speed of 24 knots on a moderate consumption really nice driving position and feeling really reactive and, and, and very nice to, to, to drive. So it's been a great pleasure to show you over the boat. We will have loads more information available for anybody who might be interested on our website. Just search Princess Brokerage International. Please like and subscribe our YouTube channel to get more updates and more videos coming through to you. And if there's anything else that you need, of course, you can just contact us, drop us an email, give us a call, and we'd be very happy to provide you with all of the information that you need. Thank you very much.